जय विजय संभाजी जय जय यावत प्रपंच प्रणवाल परिपाल परमेशी कमलाल श्रीदेवी कुरी पिंस वे करुणाबुरासी दीम तारा दीम दीम तारा जतुल दो प्राण मेराट्यम चे से गतुल दो नाम शतम
today we gather here to celebrate 163rd birth anniversary of world renowned civil engineer bharat ratna sir moksha gunnam vishweshwaraya who was instrumental in constructing dams across the country in fact across the world and who is the chief engineer for the flood flood production system of hyderabad he was the instrumental in charting out of a road construction between tirumala and tirupati i would like to draw your kind attention four brave arts in anantanag district of jammu and kashmir day before yesterday they made a supreme sacrifice in defending the territorial integrity and sovereignty of this great nation colonel jaspreet singh and his fellow officers and men in their call of line of duty in defending the country from the external aggression have made this sacrifice may i request ladies and gentlemen to please stand up and pay our mark of respect for a one minute silence to the departed soul thank you ladies and gentlemen at the very outset a very happy engineers day to each one of you this is the day to acknowledge the contributions made by all the engineers in the country in fact in addition to india two other nations are celebrating the engineers today engineers day sri lanka and tanzania both the countries are celebrating engineers day in addition to india as a mark of commemoration of the 162nd birth anniversary of bharat ratna sir moksha gundam visveswaraya today it's the day to acknowledge all that he has done which has been very beautifully brought out by the dean r and d dr g sinwas rao all that he has done in addition to that plenty of engineers scientists and technologists of the country who made this country as what we are today chandrayaan 3 was spoken by dean r and d chandrayaan 3 is a classic example of a engineering marvel i congratulate mahendra pal singh ji and his team for making the great success of chandrayaan I think it is not enough I think it deserves a standing ovation from all of you for the, the success of the Chandra Chandrayaan deserves we have to learn two things from isro i mean uh, the people like uh, mahendra pal singh one lesson is people always think uh, intelligence only matters but uh, more than intelligence team spirit and dedication and commitment matters more that is the proof of chandrayaan success the other thing is it has happened because of their team spirit commitment and dedication a very patriotic sp spirit for the country because their salaries are very normal salaries as i know as i understand not big salaries not fat salaries like uh, it companies very normal salaries they were they were working with all patriotic spirit and all dedication these are the two lessons we have to learn from the success of chandrayaan and the, from the work experience work of uh, i mean mahendra pal singh ji and his team and the whole isro i was reading one article very recently where they were saying that uh, one of the first investors in apple today apple is the one of the best products and uh, he invested 2500 uh, uh, us dollars and today can you imagine what is its worth any ballpark number or any guess that you can make it's uh, literally 980 billion dollars the investment that he made such a small investment in apple likewise the other day sir was telling ahi bus red bus was here your own student from vignan he got about sir i think 800 crores sir was saying so that was the investment and now he put it in a tech company physics wala 
the creator the almighty who has created this beautiful universe has enabled engineers to be a creator engineers create beautiful buildings roads product various products dams aeroplanes cars whatever we use and satellites engineers are the largest second party of creators so you may question who is the first one is god himself who has created us so after him it is the engineers who create who are the creators in this world so congratulations to all of you for this engineers day engineers as we know are the architects of a nation progress and development they convert theoretical knowledge into practical tangible realities shaping the world we live in engineers are the problem solvers of our society their work is the link between the scientific discoveries and commercial applications to meet societal needs this day also encourages young minds to pursue engineering and contribute towards the growth of our country all these programs are being organized to motivate young engineers to do marvel things we have heard the two vibrant speeches one was very exciting anil was really compelling you to become innovative talented anil was almost compelling that you have got to just go up for the startup activities on the other hand mahendra pal was so simple he started with such a simple thing that he reminded you so politely what should be the role of mobile in your life so very wonderful he really made it when i was hearing both the speeches i was reminded of one text message sent by my daughter to me when she was doing her engineering she sent love is very beautiful she sent love is very wonderful love is very thrilling that was the first page then she wrote at the end of the page until obviously i was very curious i rolled the page then she wrote until father's daughter falls in love with somebody else that's exactly the story mahendra pal mentioned that's exactly the story arun mentioned in a different way that engineers are good engineers are great engineers can make landing on the moon possible engineers can do everything until they become committed until they become ethically strong until they don't work for the salary packages but they work for the excitement of the work that's what has been conveyed by both of them
पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठ द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्छल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तव जय गाथा जनगण मंगल धायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता